These X slash Twitter posts were all created from a single prompt that I made inside of my NAN workflow. My prompt was basically get me posts about a recent AI that found hidden heart attack risks. Let me grab this prompt, send it over to ScollyDraw so I can explain exactly how you can build other systems using the search endpoint from Firecrawl. If you use the MCP for Firecrawl, your AI agent will understand that this isn't exactly what it needs to search the internet for. So it will come up with a more specified query, which you can find right here. AI artificial intelligence, hidden heart attack risk detection, recent news. This was the best way it thought out of finding the exact articles that would be necessary to produce these Twitter posts. But your system could just be different and allow the user to specify the exact query they want to use. So you would actually use exactly what was typed in here to browse for some results. Now, normally you could use some other tools to browse for this, and then you would get a list of website one, website two, website three, website four, and there it goes. But then you would have to use a different tool to go inside of each and every one of these websites and scrape them, then bring all the data back in a markdown format for only then to produce the desired results. And this is exactly what the slash search endpoint from Firecall does currently. Instead of you having to do all this, so browsing, scraping, getting it back in a markdown format, all this is done for you and you receive the complete markdown for each of these websites found. This really allows us to create a lot. So this company intelligence report currently fetching for Langchain, it's basically comparing how similar is Firecall to Langchain based on an email received. Because many companies and even content creators receive a lot of emails suggesting partnership and you don't exactly know much about that company, so you'll have to do a research on them. Why not do this automatically? That is what we get with this company intelligence report down here. I really like this part where it mentions a partnership alignment analysis, which gives us an alignment score. For this case, comparing Firecall with Langchain, it's an eight out of 10 because of exactly everything that's pointed out in this report. Another pretty awesome project is this strategic research report generator. It's as simple as typing in AI market analysis for 2025 and getting this full report about how the AI market is performing. And this is all possible again, because they're browsing through each of these websites and grabbing the full content of that website, not just the headlines, not just what you see inside of Google if you type in AI market analysis, Sometimes you'll only get access to this snippet right here of the website, but Firecrawl actually gives you the complete markdown from what's inside of the website. So all this data from Statista would be brought back. And finally, one of the coolest one is this mind map generator. All I typed in was artificial intelligence applications, and it created this mind map which connected artificial intelligence applications with everyday AI applications. Then it ramificated over to social media, digital assistants, online shopping, search engines. So it gives you a full context of the main theme, which in this case is artificial intelligence applications. Now let's go through how you can run each and every single one of these projects, starting off with the NAN workflow for generating these X posts, which is sent over to an email of your choice. I feel like every time I talk about how you can insert the credentials, so it's getting kind of redundant, but if you still need some help with either the MCP credential for a fire call or the Google API credential, or even the Anthropic API key, let me know down in the comment section and I'll send you a video where I configured that. Usually you would see another MCP tool attached to this AI agent, but I really don't think this is cost efficient nor performance efficient because it will constantly try to fetch and list for those tools. So it takes a while to use that specific tool fetching tool. And then it will use all that inside of the context, which we really don't need. And what I'm talking about is exactly this. If I execute this node right here, you'll notice that what I get back is a huge list of tools from Firecrawl. This happens to every MCP. But for example, I don't need this huge context for Firecrawl scrape because I'm not going to be using it, nor do I need the Firecrawl map tool, nor the crawl tool, nor the Firecrawl check crawl status. So all I really do is grab exactly how this Firecrawl search tool can be used. And then I specify that inside of the system prompt right over here, because this is really the only tool that'll need to run whatever I need for this specific case. Now I can go over to Google News and spot a specific news related to AI, or it doesn't even really need to be specific to AI. I can research something about sports. So recent sports news. There's this really recent news about Marta coming back for Brazil after retirement. Let's specify that over to our AI agent. So I wrote down, get me posts about Marta going back to Brazil. Ideally, it should currently browsing for all the results. It seems like it's 
already done. Let's see if we got an email. And there it is. Post suggestions from get me posts about Marta going back to Brazil. So this is the result. I honestly think it's a pretty nice result that you could actually post inside of X with the image that really draws the attention to that specific post. And what I like most about this result are the key highlights. This is actual, like this isn't superficial because it actually went inside of the website and grabbed the article and then summarized it enough to get actual highlights for that. It's not just reading the headlines. So this is the second post result. And finally, the third post result didn't come with an image, but that's all right. We got pretty solid suggestions here. Now let's go over how you can generate these reports. All the links will be down in the comment section. And initially you'll see this. If you click on code, you can actually copy this code inside of your own ID. But if you want to run this inside of Replit, you can just click on remix with this app, then click on remix app. Everything should be loaded fine. If you click here, you'll have access to all the files and folders. But if you hit run, it will seem like nothing happened at this point. If you're not familiar with Replit, you can just click on the console tab, which will alert you that there are missing required secrets. You can click on this button and then fill in your OpenAI API key as well as your Firecall API key. That process is absolutely the same for all of these projects. To generate this company intelligence report, you can either specify that inside of the, the command while running it, or you can just head over to the index.js and specify the email that you want to be searched right here. For this case, I specified John Smith at langchain.com. It grabs everything after the at, so it will identify the langchain.com. And inside of the console, you'll have access to everything it did. The first thing it did was actually go inside of that domain, so langchain.com, search inside of it, get some keywords, and then use those keywords to search for recent news about Langchain. It found Langchain's blog, Langchain's changelog, and a few other results which really contribute to the company intelligence report generated. Now for the strategic research report, you can specify that right here in the index.js. I specified AI market analysis 2025. As soon as you hit run, the search endpoint will be activated and it'll search for these sources of which you'll be informed of. Each content is then summarized to then create the report. And I forgot to mention in the last project that you can access this report right over here in the output. You can come over here, either open it in here or just download that HTML drag it inside of your Chrome tab and you'll have it ready to go. Now for the mind map, it's exactly the same thing. If you're using the actual prompt command, you can specify what you want to search for. But if you're not using it, if you're using rep, you could just specify artificial intelligence applications in here or just change this to whatever. So Marvel movies and then hit run and let's see what it'll get us. Okay, it said it found six results. My map was created successfully. Just head over to the output folder, click on the mind map HTML, download it, drag it inside of Chrome extension. So we got a current and upcoming Marvel movies and then 2025 release is tied to the new Avengers, the Fantastic Four First Steps and Captain America Brave New World. I actually didn't really hear about the new Avengers, an upcoming film set to release in 2025 featuring a new assembly of Avengers. Is this true? Oh, it's just Thunderbolts. I don't know why it's being called the new Avengers, but yeah, I got the point. That is it for this video. As you can see, this tool allows us to build a lot of different projects and these projects, you can either use them yourself or sell them to a potential client. A lot of people will definitely be amazed and they will really appreciate having this. This would be a lot of value inside of their workflow. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if this helped you at all. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then.